All right, in this video, we want to find the volume of this sphere here. They give us this number 15, and, and you can tell that they're giving us the diameter because they draw this solid line right here. It tells me that the diameter of the sphere is 15. And my technique for solving for a sphere is usually to circumscribe a cylinder around it, which means to draw a cylinder, right, in which the sphere will fit almost perfectly. And let me try my best to do this. So the cylinder's going to basically wrap around the sphere here. And you can always picture it might look a little bit like this in 3D. All right, so picture that the sphere is fitting perfectly inside the cylinder. Well, if I want to find the volume of this of the sphere, all I have to do is find the volume of the cylinder and then multiply that by two thirds. Because a sphere, right, will fill two thirds of a cylinder exactly, which is surprising and, and wonderful that the sphere fills exactly two-thirds of a cylinder with the same height and the same diameter. Um, so if this cylinder fits perfectly around the sphere, the sphere's volume is two-thirds of that cylinder. And this connects to the, the formula of four-thirds pi r cubed. We're just shifting things around here, but I, I like to use this formula. It's more intuitive. I can remember that and think about how the sphere will fill up two-thirds of that cylinder. This formula is also fantastic and has its own intuition built off of off of this, right? They build off each other, which I go into uh, into other videos. But here, I just want to point out that we can flexibly use either one. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to use the one on the left here. So what do we do? Well, to find the volume of a cylinder, right? What do I do? Well, I, I find the area of the base of the cylinder, multiply it by the height. So the area of the base is going to be the area of a circle, pi r squared, times the height. Well, what's the radius of the cylinder? Well, if the diameter here is 15. That also means that the diameter on, in every direction is 15. Right? That's how a sphere is built. Every diameter is equal. So that diameter is 15, and you can see the radius should be half of it. So the radius won't be 15, it'll be 7.5, right? half of 15. So we have pi times 7.5 squared, I'm plugging into this formula, times the height of the cylinder. But what's the height of the cylinder? Well, if it fits perfectly on the sphere, the height's 15, right? Just like this, the height of the sphere is 15. So this is our multiplication that we're setting up to find the volume. So I'm going to square 7.5, 7.5 times 7.5. We get a number, 56.25, and then we're going to multiply that by 15, by the height, times 15. We get 843.75. So it's pi times 843.75. We could estimate with pi, but I like to leave it in terms of pi. Because now, right, we don't want to touch that irrational number. To find the volume of the, cil the cylinder, we take two-thirds of this. So I'm just going to multiply it all by two-thirds. How do I find two-thirds? Well, first, my technique is to take the number we have and find one-third. In other words, right, to find one-third, we divide this by three. This is one-third. We're finding two-thirds, so double this. 562.5. So this really equals pi times 562.5. And this is two thirds of the volume of the sphere, so it's of the cylinder, so it's the volume of the, of the sphere. And if we had used this formula over here, we get the same thing. Let's try it. Four thirds times pi times the radius cubed. The radius is 7.5, and we're cubing it now. Let's try this one out. So, so 7.5 times 7.5 times 7.5 is the radius cubed. We get 421.875. But if we leave pi alone, we want to multiply that by 4 thirds. My technique for doing that is to find a third again. Divide by 3. Gives me this number. Multiply that by 4. And again, we get, look at that, 562.5 times pi. So pi times 562.5. And that gives us the same answer. So we can approach this either way. Thanks.